let's find the value of underlying digit up to 99. The question reads, what is the value of the underlying digit? So let's use our scratch pad to help us determine. So when we have a number like this, our digits have a place value. So this place value is our tens, and this place value is our ones. So we're looking at the digit here in our tens place. So that means we have one 10. So what is 110 equal to? Well, 110 is equal to 10. So let's close that scratch pad, type in 10. Nice work. Let's use our scratch pad here. Remember, I'm going to start using T for tens and O for ones. So our two is in our tens place, our zero is in our ones place, and they're asking us for the value of the underlying digit. So we have zero ones. So what is the value of zero ones? Well, that's just zero. So let's close that scratch pad. See, one, zero, and 10 are up here, zero. What is the value of the underlying digit? Let's use that scratch pad. Remember that this is our tens place value and this is our ones. So here we have one in the tens place. So one 10 equals 10. Let's see if 10 is below here. There's 11, one, oh, there's 10, correct. What is the value of the underlying digit? Well, we only have one digit here, and so that means that this is in our ones place. So three in the ones place is equal to three. So let's close that scratch pad and look for three. 13, 30, oh, there's three, nice work. What is the value of the underlying digit? Let's use that scratch pad, label our place value columns. This one's our 10. This one's our one. We want to know what the value of the underlying digit is. So one, 10, and one, 10 equals 10. So let's close that scratch pad. There's 11, one, oh, there's 10. That's right. What is the value of the underlying digit? Well, there's only one, which means that this is in our ones place. So three ones. equals three. If I look down here, 13, 30, and three. That's right. What is the value of the underlying digit here? Use that scratch pad. Here's our tens place. Here's our ones place. So if we have a one in our tens place, that means that it's equal to one 10, and one 10 equals 10. Let's close that scratch pad. Here's our 10, super job. Now let's use our scratch pad again to find the value of the underlying digit. This one is our 10 and this one is our one. So we're looking for this one. So that means we have one, one. So if we just have one, one, that means we have one. So let's close that scratch pad, hit one, super job. Look. What is the value of the underlying digit here? So let's use the scratch pad, label our place value columns, 10 and one. This one we're looking for eight. We have eight ones. So if we have eight ones, that gives us eight. Let's close that scratch pad, find eight, nice work. Looks like we're on to our last one. What is the value of the underlying digit? Well, this is in the ones place. We're looking for two ones. So what does two ones equal? Well, two ones is equal to two. So let's close that scratch pad, click two. All right, I think we did a super job today figuring out the value of the underlined digit. Nice job.